Hello everybody, it's Paul again. Um, today I wanted to talk about one of my favorite plants. Of course, I have a million favorites. Um, <laughs> but this one in particular is a type of bromeliad and it is called Cryptanthus, also known as the Earth Star. Here's an example of it. You can see, it's called Earth Star because from above it looks like um, a star and they stay kind of low to the ground. It's another cool color. Um, I have a bunch of different varieties of these. Just really, really cool, really interesting. Um, they say that they're slow growers, and for the most part they are, but I've noticed that if you give them enough moisture and kind of lessen the light a little bit, they'll start to grow, reaching for the light kind of quickly. Um, and propagating them is pretty easy. Once they bloom, just like all bromeliads, uh, they start sending up little pups. It's like these little, little babies that pop out from the sides. And the leaf axles. Some of them start producing pups even before they bloom. Depends, I think, on the variety. In order to propagate these guys, it's fairly easy. All you have to do is pick one that's big enough. Usually it's um, like a third the size of the parent. Um, I'd say this one here is a good size. You just grab it. I'll bring this close to you guys. Grab it and twist. So you just grab it and twist and it pops right out like that. He's a little baby. And some people say, oh, you gotta let it dry out before you plant it. No, yeah, I don't think so. You don't really have to do anything you don't want to. <laughs> um, what I do is I take them and I put them in some moist um, sphagnum moss, like here. And this guy's been living in here for quite a few months and he hasn't even grown any roots yet. I could take him right out of here and there's no roots, you can see. But um, I treat him just like an air plant. Uh, and just mist him, make sure that the substrate's nice and moist, and he's been fine. He's been doing good. He's actually grown a little bit, even without the roots. I just gotta give him a nice, uh, a nice bath a couple times a week, I'd say. But yeah, Cryptanthus. Really easy to take care of, really pretty. Um, the brighter the light, the more the color. As you can see, these have been a little bit in the shade, so the new leaves that are coming out are a little bit greenish. I don't know if you can see. Um, and this guy was a bright, like a hot pink, and uh, with variegation, white variegation. Now it's just green with the variegation, but still, either way, I still think they're beautiful. Um, and if you don't have one, I definitely suggest going out and getting one. Cryptanthus, Earth Star. Hope you enjoy the video. As usual, subscribe, um, give a thumbs up, and any questions, just give a holler.